Hello everybody and welcome back to our discussion in Precalculus. For this video, I am going to talk about the basic properties of logarithm. So this is part of the series of videos talking about the logarithmic properties. So let's get it to. So we have the basic properties of logarithms. So listed on the slides are the basic properties of logarithm. So for the first one, we have the logarithm of 1 with any base b is equal to 0. So basically, whatever the base, as long as the number here is 1, the logarithm of 1 is always equal to 0, whatever the base. Okay? So that's basic property number 1. Number 2, the logarithm of b with base b. As you can see, the base and the number here, they are both the same. Okay, if these two numbers are the same, the answer is equal to 1. That's basic property number 2 of logarithm. Okay? So we also have the inverse property. We know that exponential function and logarithmic function are inverses of each other. So basically, if these two are combined together in one form, then uh, they cancel each other out. For this example, for number 3, we have the logarithm and base b of b raised to x. So this is 1, so basically that's equal to x. Okay, the logarithm of b in base b is 1, right? So whatever the exponent there, that is the answer for the inverse property. That's number 3 property of the logarithm. For number 4, we have b raised to the logarithm of x in base b. So the base of the exponent or exponential form is the base of the logarithm, which is in the exponent. Okay, so that means uh, the two bases will cancel each other out and that is equal to x. The answer for this one is x as well. Okay, so remember those two inverse properties. Okay, and we also have the one-to-one -one property here. So if we have two logarithms, one in each side of the equation, logarithm of m in base b and logarithm of n in base b, if and only f if m is equal to n. So basically, we can equate the two logarithms, m and n, if they are both logarithmic functions on both sides of the equation and they have both uh, the same bases. Okay, so those are the basic properties of logarithm. These are very useful in our next lesson. So do not forget them. Okay, I will see you in the next video.